Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Mm, they're scouting things out, weren't they? Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our you boat. fucking we drove in in the first place, yes. Problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twelve. All right. Well, shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard Conrad, bargain, but no. I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. What part of let me deal with it do you not understand? Uh, some demands conversation, not for the broken nose, but for the mean things you said. I mean, technically, you could say it was their compensation for what they said and done. Not compensation. Um, come up in this? Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The trick. I feel like I can't talk and, sh and play this at the same time. Oh fuck, we're gonna get stuck. Uh oh. But yeah, two boats have been on. This rickety old... In my memory it was wooden. And it was... It, it wasn't that big. And it went sailing around some islands. To like an island that had a... a puffin colony on it. And the other one... Was... One that rocked like, it, oh, like it was going out of fashion. Oh, I kind of suspended. I mean, if you've got it, it's against them. I, I, I we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. I was the master of getting people. They're uh, in trouble for shit they said or done. That you shouldn't have. Actually, <laughs> don't fucking do shit to me and we get you in trouble then. Oh no 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 why am I deciding to do this? Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Uh oh god. Live a little. She might die right here. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Ah, oh, Julia, I don't feel like I want to keep you alive either. But I feel like... Oh, I don't even know. I thought she had cheeks like a hamster because
Oh, no, anything is serious that happened was caught on camera anyway. You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance, you get that. Mm. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. Searching in progress. Searched area one clear. Area two clear and area three clear. This says it was a rescue plan. Your rescue service flight plan. The US base. Okay, flight type VFR search mission, aircraft type B-29, sea air rescue, reconnaissance plane. Uh, aircraft identification, ARS-01, V-74821, types uh, obscured, Kowalski, takeoff US air base. Oh, on an island? Oh, we don't even know where it was going. They were on their way to help out a ship. Oh. Secret friend. Bullet hole. All and aircraft shells. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. That <laughs> so fliss. Shouldn't be doing this, Missy. I'm torn because I know, like, you know, if they've got the rules in place, it's like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this. But check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Oh, it's Barrison. Oh no, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Is it a locket? Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. We gotta get out of here, now! Yes, that scared him off. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time is the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. This game is crazy. It is. Will you marry me? Yeah, you'd, um, I guess. Alex, wow. <clears throat> Maybe they'll have a better bond through the answer. game and I can keep yes, them alive? Yes, they'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Oh. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Oh, so it's just happening at the same time. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta no. get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress. 
press right. Just wait for it. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Was that the money? There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. <laughs> so, why are you paying the ocean? <laughs> a group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I want to want Brad alive. I don't oh care god, if they die or not. Can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Maybe Fliss. Maybe Fliss can stay alive. <laughs> we found love. Oh, he's like, why the fuck am I writing? They got married. No, they didn't get married. He proposed underwater. You're he's, sh he shook his head like, then. why did you make Alex me do this? And his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Don't you judge me on my decisions. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Oh no. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. Did I though? You're doing well. I hope it's a good value. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. So, needless to say, this lady was impressed. Yeah, well played there, Mano. Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mr. Julia Smith? Wait, Smith? No, I'll stick my own name. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of building a career with my own name. I was kind of thinking I'd just stick with that. Well, sure. You can always have a professional name, like a stage name, and then your real name. Oh, boy. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, of course not. No, I said not. you had to. A lot of women keep their own name now. And don't forget, it's the bride's family that usually foots the bill, so I've just been thinking about the best way to pitch it to my dad. Great. What? If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of a century, people are going to think I married you for your money. Oh, God. No, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bot. Julia. Hey, letting things not a big deal. Really. I'm sorry that's on your mind. The second you said yes... I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex.
Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, did you <laughs> I know it's not for person ever. Well, uh, it's no, better of the two answers. And I don't know what do nothing does. Sure. I feel like I have to answer to have an effect. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? What, toilet? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. <laughs> he won't be happy. Now that everybody's here, Actually, Conrad's not that bad. We found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay. I think I'll she may be the worst. Hey. Maybe. Oh, I can't make up my mind now. In case. What, down below? So, how's it feel to be a man post Did we get many photographs when we were down there? Why not just hold it in your right hand and press the left one? Oh god. He's gonna leave it on the photo. Just leave it there. We're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find you. Oh shit, did I take so long? Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. <laughs> I, I done one thing differently. Oh, looking for photos. Or looking through the photos. Got it. Let's go up. I could have looked for it myself, mister. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, okay, you don't on. actually know what we did or didn't I'm pick up. About the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Nothing you have said. Okay, maybe. It's given the impression that that isn't you. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, 
Cameron's waterproof till 30 meters. You can assume the wreck is less than 30 meters deep, and that's the case. You can dive for three hours and still need to decompress. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Everyone was so angry. Now we're going to the ghost true. stories. It happened right near here. Oh, this is an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Nope, it's fine. Ah, it's fine. Yeah. We can we now can I deal with the cringe. I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. It's smooth. He of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door. And, sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's Wait, we've got a storm approaching? Face. And then its eyes bulge out and scream. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> yeah, he's so uh, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh. Super twist. Nice. Nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Hit me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> right, of course. The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. They're all gonna die, aren't they? I think I liked Until Dawn, because it seemed a bit more... Well, the, the, the... Illusion that was a bit more open? <laughs> One can hope? I feel alright with... They're, they're on board, okay. Um, yeah, I feel right with, with... Is it Brad's? No, is it Brad's? Is that the younger brother? What was that door opening? You would have heard that! Unless it was going in time with the thunder. It's alright, you're just on a ship and you wake to find some random dude.
I love how teeny tiny her knives are. I wonder if they scaled the knives to the boat size. <clears throat> Organization 13? Was away in the future. Hey, Apple. <laughs> Gabriel? Um. In him, my <laughs> way, <Wait>, Sukai. <laughs> Oh, we're finally going to get her. Oh god, maybe we should keep that on her. I think she's going to land us in trouble. Sorry. You okay? I think so. Your tied hands in front of you so, uh, is free. Good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. Just worried about being killed. Mm. Guys, we gotta get untied right now. <laughs> oh, shit. No, it's not good. Come on. <laughs> Fuck. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Do they want? We do it. Why did they bring him up anyway? Okay. Okay. Full sense of security, maybe. What are you using?
It's like the world's smallest pair of scissors. <laughs> They're scissoring. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Your hands were untied. You couldn't have Shut the got to him in time. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They have an influence. Okay, well, that's fine. Mm -hmm. sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Uh, did you see my brother? 